guys, I am a little bit up Norton Summit here on this climb. I am going to show you the challenge tour for the Tour Down Under, which is the people's ride. It's stage three of the Tour Down Under, but they open it to the public for a fee, of course, um, in the morning and in the afternoon, the pros ride it. So today, I'm going to show you the three main climbs. Not going to follow exact route, but it's roughly the same distance. Uh, just over 100 kilometers and here we're on Norton Summit it's a five kilometer climb average five percent gradient and it is probably the most popular climb in Adelaide this one in fact Norton isn't just the most popular climb in Adelaide South Australia or even Australia it is one that people come from all over the world to ride this it really needs to be a much fancier start to it because it starts in that industrial section down there and it's like this is so ugly I want to show you guys but here, so that's why I'm starting the video halfway up where it's pretty <laughs> we're also going to go past the giant rocking horse and I'm going to show you the rocking horse and we should be able to climb inside this giant rocking horse so keep watching see what these climbs are like and prep yourself for the tour down under <laughs> All right, let's do this Norton is that because it's so popular there's always huge of people coming up and down like it's the community gathering of Adelaide cyclists really <laughs> any day of the week can't see any right now but I'm sure there's been about 10 people past some going up some going down oh, it's really cool <laughs> popular in Adelaide and South Australia and Australia and the world. <laughs> yeah, come and try it, yeah. Okay, everyone, see this gum tree here? This is where the Norton Summit Strava segment ends, here. So you can see we're still actually a couple of kilometres away from the end of the road where it joins up with the other roads and with the toilets and everything else. So a lot of people don't realise that that tree is the end of the segment. So once you hit that, you can stop and breathe and have some water if you need if you push yourself all the way up there to get a good time on it <laughs> not like the first time I ever did it it was like pushing really hard and I pushed all the way up to the intersection up there going I've got to keep going <laughs> 
going. <laughs> no, stop at the tree there. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Norton Summit climb and we're just going to pop up here get some water with always this water here which is great this is really handy that this is always here you can get water at the top of Norton so um, it's good to know where the water is after this we're going to the If you want to go up to Lofty, up that way, Woods Hill Road, but we're not going that way, we're going on to Liverpool. <laughs> Oh, no. 
no. Okay, we're gonna head to check a hill now, and this is one of the toughest climbs apparently around Adelaide in South Australia. I haven't done it yet. People keep saying, "Have you done check it? Have you done check it?" I'm like, "No, I haven't done it yet." It's about 500 meters, 14% average gradient, but it gets up to 20% at the top, and apparently that's what's really tough about it. So I'm looking forward to trying this one because I've never, I've heard so much about it, and let's go see if its reputation is bigger than the reality of it, or maybe the reputation is deserving. Let's go find out. <laughs> climbs in Adelaide. <laughs> well so far it's been mostly just a tiny climb. Now I've got a bit of downhill. So it's uh, kind of easy so far, which makes you realize that hmm, there is definitely going to be something steep at the end. <laughs> Apparently when you get up around this corner here, you can see it. I don't know if I want to see it. <laughs> Sometimes it's better not to see what you're in for. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that on the camera very easily. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see why people would be pulling their pads. <laughs> can I say that on camera? Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. Huh. We got this. Doing it. You just climbed Checker Hill. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a worthy climb. <laughs> and now for the descent. This will be fun. <laughs> Oh, 
and that's a gorge and the reservoir. Yeah, it's such a pretty road. Through the last climb for today, which will be the last climb that you guys are doing on the um, TDU challenge. So this one, the first kilometer of it is pretty easy. It's mostly flat and you're like, oh yeah, this is okay, I can do this. But the last two and a half Ks is about 9% average and it gets up to 15% and it's got these really cool switchbacks that you're just like <sighs> going up and then it's like, I love it. Corkscrew is a really cool road. Like, it's one of my favorite ones. I've done it a few times. I did it in sneakers and a flat bar when I first did it because everyone said, it's really hard, it's really hard. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it in my sneakers and a flat bar and I, could, and I did it. So yeah, you guys can do it. This one's really fun. But just remember, if you're doing it as part of the challenge, the TDU challenge, you'll be doing it after you've got like 120 Ks of running in your legs, maybe not that much, but 100 Ks in your legs. So yeah, you'll love it. All right, let's go check it out. I'll show you. Here's the bridge. So this is where the tough section starts. <laughs> this is where it gets hard. Here we go. There's the court Kurt Screwy Road sign. Oh, little tip for you guys if you want one for climbing like this has used your body weight going from side to side on your pedals that's why it's easier standing because your weight goes down one side than the other side and it's your weight turning the pedals not just your leg muscles There, guys, you can see down how the road cocks through. Here we are, coming to the end of the road. Massive cocks through done. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. It's fun guys here on Montague Road. So yeah. Whew. I'll capture my breath. All right, guys, that was so cool. Okay, so the Tour Down Under Challenge Ride next year in 2023 just covered off. It didn't do the exact route that they follow, but covered off the three major climbs in that ride, which is a 123K ride, I think it is. So check it out. But come out and do it. You don't have to wait for the Tour Down Under to come and do these climbs. They're the best climbs in Adelaide, really. So. Um, Norton's easy easy it's really cool just it's a nice little warm-up ride and then going to Checker Hill like oh, that is such a challenge but you guys can do it even if you have to walk it right just do it because it's so cool it's a good challenge and it's good to um I wasn't even in my easiest go I think I had two more to go so yeah it's fun and remember like just when you're climbing just like get into your legs and use your body weight to like that helps push you up because you're using your body weight not just your legs to push yourself up so yeah but if you have to walk walk just do it and then you get to come and do corkscrew, which is one of my favorite climbs, and it's got that twisty turning up, up, up. Love it, love it. All right, keep tuned in, watch the next video, and um, now we're gonna go down Montague, because this corkscrew comes up on Montague Road, so now we're gonna just roll back down to Adelaide along Montague Road, which is actually a really nice descent back into the city, so awesome. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>